My fellow traders, I hope everybody had a great day today. Uh, I had a fun and challenging day in the market here. So, you know, had a lot of uh, mentor sessions tonight. So, from right after the class, we had the class at 4.30, then had first mentor session at 6, and been kind of going ever since. So, we're just going to jump right into the recap today. I don't really have a message for you today other than I need to get some rest tonight. But um, we're just going to jump right into the recap here. So I had two stocks on my watch list this morning, um, SIG and KLDK. OSTK was on the gap scan, was on my scan too, but I didn't put it on watch. Um, so... The first one that I thought gave me good potential was SIG. And I saw how this thing ran all the way up going into the open, and then it started to sell off. Now, this is exactly what I saw KS, excuse me, KSS do on Monday and what I tried to translate to TGT yesterday. So... I said, well, today I'm going to be a little bit more patient. Um, plus, I had some other variables here that we're going to talk about in a minute. But, you know, here was the first candle, the first five-minute candle. We sold off coming into the open. This candle opened here and got bought right back up toward this red to green line, toward the 200 coming in up here. And... It started selling back off and I, I waited and I let it put in the five minute open range low and it was below the hundred day below the nine but it was above the VWAP and the 20 so this kind of gave me some pause here you know I wasn't going to take it and shorten it into the VWAP and the 20 I was going to wait and so what I did, you know, I let this candle print. You know, we opened here. We got bought all the way back up. And usually when you see this happen and it starts to sell off, this is a good signal to get short. But I wasn't going to do it because we had the 100-day, we had the 9, we had the 5-minute open range low, we had the VWAP, we had the 20. We had all of this support. And I just said, I'm not going to short into any of this support. You know, with the way the market has been going, I wasn't going to short into it. So I waited until we just cracked the 20 here, and I took a position. And we got a nice quick move down to my first target, and then it got bought right back up. Now, most of you know, you know that once I take profit, I put my stop back at break even. Well, this thing came back so fast, I couldn't even get my stop in at break even. So I kind of held it for a second to see if we were going to hold below the VWAP and the 9 here and then sell off back through the 20 and come back down. And, and you know, that's exactly what we did. So holding it that extra couple of seconds while I was, you know, a little bit negative on the trade wasn't really going to hurt. You know, it wasn't going to chew into this profit too much. So I let it come back, ended up hitting my second target, and my final target was down here on 53. So I went ahead and took it off. I think it was, it was at 53.05. That's where I had it set. So I waited for a bounce. And this gets me every time. I know I need to wait until it taps this or really gives it a good test, but it started to pull back. It looked real weak. I thought we were going to break 53 this time. You know, it sat here. So once we got showed some tremendous weakness and we got down here, I went ahead and got short again at 52.95. And it started to work. And then all of a sudden, it just got bought way up. I mean, look at this candle. You can see the range on this candle compared to the rest of these. 
This was just odd. So you know somebody jumped in and then just bought this thing all the way back up. It nailed a lot of stop losses. I mean, even mine right here. So as we were coming back, I went ahead and got in, and I'm like, I'm just going to scout this thing. I'm going to get in, and I'm going to take it all off. I'm going to take off, you know, take it off through 53. Well, if you're scalping, what I should have done was take everything off. But I was still in that, that um, you know, scaling out mindset, which is not, real, not good when you're trying to scalp. Um, so I took half off here, and then when we started to recover, I took the rest of it off. And then I ended up getting back in here, taking half off again, and then stopping out here at break even. And this was another one of these crazy candles that came out of nowhere. And so after that, I shorted it again and ended up getting stopped out. And then I shorted it again and just kind of held through some choppiness and just took it off here. You know, and then I, I was done. Um, you know, just did not get the moves that I wanted out of this. Just didn't get it. But, the, the you know, the first move was great. This really hurt. Because this took back more than half of what I made on this trade. Which got me really feisty in, in doing all of this. So I really, I over traded this. And it was a direct result of, you know, giving this back. But <clears throat> when I went back and calculated this, this was, uh, you know, over a $500 trade. This was about a $300 loss and then you know you see we fought back to this you know after all of this and this over trading you know we got back to just 373 on this name but you know it was just a hard fought day on this when this really could have just been one easy trade two easy trades and then out you know that that would have been it but I just got a little bit, you know, overzealous. And that's what happened on this. Now, on K, let me see, I'm going to do KODK next. Okay, KODK, this was, you know, this has a lower float and it's a lower price stock, which is kind of out of my wheelhouse. But I was taking it anyway. And when I was looking to get in here, I noticed that this was really crowded and I told myself this is too crowded for me I need to get out of this you know let's just let it go and I, I just didn't do it you know I didn't do it. I thought we were bouncing here so I went long and stopped out you know right here I went long at 12.10, ended up stopping out at 11.75. Went long again and ended up stopping out at 11.15. I mean, no matter what, it, it just, th this was just not working. It was just not working. So I was like, okay, let's just scout some stuff. So we got short here. Took it all off here, got short here, was looking for the move down to the, to the 200, um, got, got a piece of this. It didn't quite get to the 200. When we bounced back, I went ahead and took it off. Now, here's where things got kind of crazy because I was wanting to get back in this stock and ended up getting in OSTK because I had, I have multiple montages. And in one of the montages, I had OSTK set up because I was looking to get short, you know, under the 200 anyway. So I wish I could say that I nailed this trade and this was my genius, but it wasn't. 
it was I was looking to get in one stock. I ended up getting in this one, which happened to be an awesome entry. And when I was trying to to get back to add some to the other stock, it kept telling me that I didn't have enough buying power. And so I added, I just kept going down and ended up adding 150 shares here. So I actually added some and was in like 650 shares all together. And so I just held on to it. I mean, it was working. It was, you know, everything was looking good. So I held on to it and I got, I took some profit here and we held below the, the, the hundred day. So I took some profit here and took some more here. And then finally, you know, closed it out here. It really didn't need to close it out. I could have left that on and rolled this thing all the way down. You know, so I did leave some meat on the bone. But this was a classic example of what I was talking about yesterday. When you have to be ready when your opportunity comes. Sometimes the opportunity is presented to you and you, you may not be expecting it. But you have to perform when it gets there. And like I said, I wish I could take credit for this. This was just, you know, me trying to get in one stock and I ended up getting in this one, but it, it was working. So I went ahead and, you know, put, tried to put together a trade plan. Um, should have waited to VWAP on this, but I, I kind of didn't, I, I kind of messed that up. And then I should have waited until red to green on this so i was just a little bit off on my covers but that was just a product of me trying to put together a plan while i was already in a trade that was was pretty volatile but this was nice this really made you know made my day it really made my day and so ended up with 662 on this so overall day trading um even with the the big hits i took um, on SIG earlier and on KLDK, you know, the, the mess I made of that trade, you know, we ended up with 903.99. So almost a grand day trading today. That was, that was pretty good. It was hard fought. Um, a little bit of luck involved. You know, I was green. You know, I always say luck is for leprechauns and I ain't green, but I was a little green today. So pretty pleased with this. I just hope I can take this momentum in, you know, to the rest of the week. Because we can have a really, really strong week here. Uh, swing trades. Uh, we already talked about that. Swing trades. Okay. AAOI is the one I took yesterday. And, you know, never. I was looking for it to get through 35 yesterday and it didn't happen so we held it overnight and not too long after the open we got through 35 and i had a target of 34.25 for half and it got there a whole lot quicker than i anticipated you know just outside the first 15 minutes we hit that first target and so then I went and I put um, 35.25 for my um, stop. So that if we came back above 35 and hit 35.25, it would stop me out. It was still a profit stop because you can see my average was 35.71. So we got a profit stop of 35.24, which was, was ideal because it never really came back and did anything you can see it closed it pulled back and it actually closed at 35 36 which is still higher than you know what i got out so this this turned out to be pretty good it was just an overnight hole just didn't get the move i wanted out of it and you can see here um i wanted to get it through this level 
this morning through here down to 3268. This is what I wanted to see happen. Uh, but we couldn't get there. Now tomorrow I may get short on this again. If we open week and we stay below this um, 3531, then I may get short again, you know, and hold this maybe through Friday to see what we can get out of it. But uh, this is coming down. You can see we are stair stepping down. And, you know, if this pulls back, it'll probably pull back to the 20 and give us another entry on this again. But, you know, I'll be looking at this tomorrow again to see what it does. But you can see these are the two covers from um, today. One thing I hate about DOS is it doesn't, you know, it won't hold my entry from the day before. It kind of erases everything and, and resets um, for the next day. So on AAOI, this was a solid, um, solid trade today. We got 957. Um, you know, this doesn't take off all the commissions, but we got 957 on it. Uh, the next one I took today was PTIE. You know, it took me a minute to find some shorts on this. And you can see this was, you know, yesterday I nailed this candle here. Uh, today, I got short on this. And, you know, kind of held through a little bit of, you know, mess on this. It kind of opened here. And we started to go short and it kind of moved around a little bit but it was working out fine and then i got bought in um i guess it's a good thing i got bought in so it, it took me out my position here and we sold off a little bit more just under 750 and then it got bought back up and ran up over nine and actually closed um, green on the day so this may you know be making the run up I think this was a pump and should have been a pump and dump I thought we were coming all the way back at least to six today but that just didn't happen so you know I was kind of wrong on this but thankful that we you know I got bought in and then you know that was it so ended up, you know, 393 on this one. So we had a decent, a real decent day out of the swing account, 132902. I am still in one more position um, in SCG. You can see now it's showing like minus 74 because the um, the ask price, where is it? Think the ask price on this is the current price was forty four ninety. I mean forty four ninety nine. You know that was the the ask price. You know which is over my um the average price I bought it at. But it didn't print anything up here. So we just have to wait till tomorrow to when it opens. And then this is one of the things that you're going to have to deal with with swing trading too. You know, once the bids and the offers get pulled, you're going to get some crazy numbers here, you know, overnight. When trading halt, you know, stops for the day, you know, you may come. I've, I've come and been down like $10,000. But you can't let that bother you. You can't let that, you know, make you not sleep at night. In some cases, I would suggest after the close, not even look at it, you know, until tomorrow morning. Because if you look at it and something like this bothers you, then you're going to have a bad night. And then that's going to bleed over into the next day. You're going to have a bad day. And... 
you know, things aren't going to really end well for you. So we had a pretty decent day. Uh, the best so far this year. And, you know, like I said before, I'm showing you um, the swing trades and the day trades. You know, because th this is how I make my living. You know, I merge both. Um, there's, some t there's some days I can go a week or two weeks without taking a swing trade. Because primarily, you know, I'm a day trader. But, you know, when I merge these two together, you know, this is how I can make a living. So, let's see now. So 2233.01 is what we got today um, total. We added day trading and the swing trading together. So we'll see if we can we can pull out a, a pretty strong week tomorrow. I mean tomorrow and, and Thursday we can pull out a pretty strong week. Um you know, I'll be back on on in hog heaven again. All right, so that's it for me today. I believe. Oh yeah, well let me show you what I'm looking at on SCG. I forgot to show you that. Um, on SCG, there's this gap. You know, from where we we were selling off here, and we gapped up, and then ever since we gapped up, we've been selling off. I'm looking for this to close the gap. Now the reason why, if you have you didn't hear um, last week when I was talking about it, the reason why this gapped up is that you know another company is looking to buy out SCG. SCG is Scanner, which is a local company here in South Carolina, and I started shorting this thing back in October in September when it came out that they were scrapping the deal with the to build a nuclear plant which upset a lot of people in South Carolina, a lot of legislatures that, you know, they got tax breaks. Um, they had customers paying into the fund in order for them to, you know, build this plant, and then they just scrapped it. So, you know, their name is Mud, and I knew this was continuing to come in. It was going to come in. And then, you know, this is where I got out before Christmas. Because I knew I didn't want to hold this through the holidays. So I, went, I got in all cash and I was out during Christmas. And thankfully, we did because a week later, this thing got straight up. It went got straight up. But as you look into it and you got to see the, um, the news, you realize that all it is was an agreement for this company to buy. I don't think this company really knows the extent of the mess that SCG is in. So to me, I, this was coming back. And so that's why I've been shorting this. And I wanted to short it here under the 50-day um, here. Short it under the 50-day and run it down. You know, today I thought we would get, you know, to the 20 at least. But we didn't. We never made it there. But this is still in play. You know, we closed at 44.26. My entry was at 44.20. So I'm, I'm still right there. We're still under the 50-day. As long as we stay there, I still think we have enough to come through and, and close this gap. So that's what I'm holding out for. That's what I'm looking for tomorrow. Um, this one I will hold. If, you know, I, I won't stop out unless we get back over, we make a higher high on this candle. And it looks like we're holding the the, the uh, 50 day. But other than that, I'm just going to let it go. Because this may bounce around a little bit before we start to come back. I think it's going to continue to pull back. Because if this deal does go through, you're going to see this. As it gets closer, you're going to see this tank, which is going to allow the insiders to buy this thing up real cheap 
because the the price that these shareholders will be getting or what their shares are going to be worth if the merger goes through is going to be we figured it to be around $55 a share so that's you know my thinking is they're going to let this thing run down these insiders are going to buy it up cheap you know just grab some shares up cheap and then when the merger happens you're going to see this big gap up and you know if it happens but a big sell-off is going to be the key i believe to tell you that that's going to happen at least that's my thought you know you can take it with a grain of salt or a grain of sand or whichever is smallest you know but that that's my thought on it so that's what i'm going to be looking for tomorrow and i will hold this through the weekend if i need to um, my first target tomorrow is going to be you know through this 20 here um, i don't want it to bounce on the 20. i want it i want it to pull through a little bit to around 42.50 and i'll t you know i'll lighten up there and then leave the rest on and, and see what we get going into the rest of the week all right so that's going to do it for me today i'm really really pleased with the outcome not happy about some of the trading i did but extremely pleased with the outcome so if i if this happens every day you know i'll take some bad trading here and there all right so you guys have a great evening a great night or great morning wherever you are in the world and i will see you in chat